Today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we're here at the Harrisburg Cover Bridge. This is where our adventure is gonna start. It is January the 2nd, 2023. You ready, Dawn? Ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. It. Kind of a gloomy day here in the Great Smoky Mountains. You can't even see Mount LeConte. You can see the foothills though. We live in such a beautiful place. No matter where you go, you get views like this. Hi. Hi, baby. Hee haw, hee haw. <laughs> How you doing? Just hanging out on the side of the road? He wants an apple or a carrot, maybe. We pass you every now and then. We do. Yeah. You're on YouTube. You are. What are you eating? Are you eating bark? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hee haw, hee haw, Dominic the donkey. Okay, bud. Everybody's taking pictures of the bridge. <laughs> this is a very difficult place to film. And today, I think we're going to just do some shopping. Just do some, you know, things that we normally do. Uh, we're going to head over to Tanger Outlets, right? Dawn likes right. to shop. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go see if I can get some more Colombian shirts. Because I like uh, these shirts. You know, I'm very picky about what I wear. And I don't always know if I like something. When I do like something, I buy a lot of it because I'm very picky, right? And I do like these style of shirts. I got my collar all, all messed up, but I'm gonna see if I can find the same type of shirt, but like maybe in a different design or something, right? But first, let's take a look at this covered bridge. Of course, we've shown it many of times in our videos and they do decorate for Christmas. This bridge has gotten extremely busy over the years. I remember times we come out here, we maybe see a car once every 20, 30 minutes. Now, it seems like there's a car that goes over this bridge every two to three minutes. So there's a little bit of a break here, but there was a lot of folks that had just come through here. And uh, there's the, uh, the river. But... Folks do have time to still write their name and carve <laughs> their name. In fact, here comes a car now. It didn't take very long for another car to come, and it doesn't ever. I noticed all the cars that were coming through had Florida plates. And when we arrived, there was a family from Florida. So it means I think everybody's heading back home. I think that other family said something about that they, I guess they were en route to head home. So uh, by tomorrow, town should be pretty empty. The Smokies will be quiet for uh, about two months and then it will explode again and that. But weekends are always busy because folks come in from Atlanta or Cincinnati. And uh, so weekends are always busy here, especially during Valentine's Day. Don't forget about Valentine's Day. Town can get busy that weekend too. So it's a new year, it's a new start. And I think everybody has things in life that maybe kind of hold them back from doing what they want. It could be many different things. And this year, I'm not gonna allow those things to hold us back on this channel. We're gonna do the things that we wanna do. We're not gonna worry about like, you know, just, just the little things that hold us back, you know, just, we're gonna just go for it. Oh, here comes the postal man. <laughs> a new year and a new start. That's gonna be the theme for 2023. Yeah, we're in day two of the new year. Yeah, so we were at Dollywood yesterday. Mm -hmm. And now we're here at the... <laughs> The covered bridge. The covered bridge. 
Well, what do you do on day two of the new year? You go shopping, right? Shopping. <laughs> Don's like, I'm okay with the the shopping part. Well, let's let's head over to Tanger. Yeah, so now we're over here at Tanger and we're gonna head into one of my favorite stores, Columbia. So I like these tees so much. I'm gonna go in and see if I can find some more, maybe with a different design. Oh, they got some sales, $109. That's a nice jacket. I already got a really nice Colombian jacket. I also got a North Face too that I wear quite often. Uh, they actually have shorts to match my... <laughs> yeah, it's got the little Santas on there and they're fishing. I don't know, what do you think? I look good on you. <laughs> think it'll look good? Mm -hmm. yeah, you think I should get those? I think so. Yeah. There's some shorts I think. It's only $12.98. I think they're swim they're swimming sh trunks. Yeah. Tall 98. I got this one already. And they do have a really nice like just straight green. Yeah. But this one's cool. It's a blue. Blue in color. Yeah, I might get one of these. And how much how much are they? They're uh 49.99. I don't but I think they're on sale though. Yeah, they're like 34.99. That's just the, the retail. And this one here is only $39.99 here. Yeah. But you know the cool thing about these? They got this little thing down here that you can wipe the lens off your like your glasses. It's a it's a cleaner or your cell phone. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I got a green one, and then of course I got a blue one that's very similar to my 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 green one. And then I got those Santa pants, which I gotta actually try those on. They might not fit, you know. Well, yeah, it does look real big. This is a, a double X. It looks look huge, actually. I don't know if that will fit. Well, they got our Kentucky fans all covered here. They even have a, that's really cool. You know, I might have to get a black one in case we have to do something kind of like formal or something, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, they even have Tennessee represented. Well, this is a real classy t-shirt get it t shirt anyways um yeah they're nice but you know they yeah they never have these in my size they're always like too small you now well, i got some some new shirts let's go see what they got for dawn that's very unique looking Look it's got that. flowers or something on it's it it's got like a flower print 70 dollars 69.99 for jackets and then we got vests for $59.99. They feel like snow pants. Here's some nice Colombian sweaters. They look nice. I like it because they're lightweight. Here's some nice coats. For, for like spring, you know, you know, they don't really have a good women's selection here. They have more men's. No. You notice that? But they just have just really some jackets, and there's a couple t-shirts. But really, that's all I have for women's. They have ski socks here, huh? They also have some fun t-shirts. So I got some new shirts, and you couldn't find anything, right? No, I find yeah, they didn't really have much in there. No. Well, let's go around and see what else we can find, right? There's got to be something cool around here. We did a review at that chop house there. The steaks are pretty good. It is a beautiful day for a walk. You don't have to wear a jacket. We're sitting about 65 degrees for January the 2nd. You cannot complain whatsoever. Normally we'll stop here at the Ben and Jerry's. We have before, in fact, we made a vlog here a while back. Yeah, so they got a croc store and they also have a moonshine distillery called Smith Creek over here. You wanna go in and check out the Crocs? Sure. Yeah, let's go in there and check out the Crocs. Don would say Croc-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> Croc-a-doodle-doo. And it's busy here. Oh, they got all kinds of crazy Crocs. They got a, a glitter Croc. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of Christmas. Whenever I see glitter, it reminds me, reminds me of, yeah. So what is this, ring in the new year, maybe? So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they even have a Christmas croc and a, a superhero one. 
So you can fix them up any way you like. There's a little little box or something there, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Then they have that whale with that unicorn head on there. For corgi lovers. Oh yeah, corgi lover, yeah. And they have gumdrops and Hershey kisses and Twizzlers. Only in Tennessee you can get moonshine in a strip mall. Well, that's a festive shirt. Drink up Grinches. This place is pretty cool. I got a pickup in here. Of course, a gnome and yeah, very, very festive. It's pretty much like any other moonshine place you can taste in there. And uh, but over here we got North Face. I want to go in there and check out the jackets. I like my North Face. It's it's a good jacket. I kind of like this uh, backpack here. It's kind of like it's like waterproof or something. Huh. But I think water could still seep in maybe through the. It's kind of bare in here. They don't really have many racks if you really think about it. It's a great big empty space here. Huh. Must have got wiped out during Christmas, huh? It looks like it. I got 50% off. And the North Face symbol is like huge on this jacket. It's like something you wear like to the Antarctic, you know? <laughs> Uh, this is a really cool store here. It's called Palmetto Moon. It's kind of like a southern uh, style store. Um, pretty cool. Are these like Crocodoodle-Doo bags? They look like Crocs. <laughs> yeah, although well, they're definitely beach bags, but... I've seen people use them before, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, they're $89 for the big one, and there's like 69 for that small one. Oh, I got some nice Tennessee shirts in here. An SEC shirt. It's got all the colleges. Auburn. Yeah. LSU. Okay, so those are probably by far the biggest flip-flops I've ever seen. What do they fit? What is there? Bigfoot. There's some the Bigfoot shop here? Might. Yeah. A Bigfoot's <laughs> got flip-flops. You know, the Smoky Mountain, you can find everything in the Smokies. You can get Simply Southern style shirts here, two for 24. And um, yeah, like all kinds of really cool graphics and stuff. But this is a fun store, especially if you're looking for that Southern flair, right? I think we hit the mother load for t-shirts. <laughs> you got the Hangover and um, Sandlot. Yeah. Even got a bad day to be a beer, right? <laughs> oh, very fun. You're not in the South unless you have a Dale shirt. Red Solo Cup, you fill me up. Let's have a party. <laughs> <laughs> they got a t-shirt for me. Oh. And I got Ann Taylor, It's Sugar, Hot Topic. Have Eddie Bauer, Sunglass Hut, Gigi's Cupcakes. You can rent these little strollers here. They're like little fire engines. I didn't know they had a Bird's Famous cookie over here. At Tanger, trying to stay away from birds' cookies because we're not gonna try, we're trying not to go that way. Potty, 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 potty. This Tanger Outlets is probably one of the best ones. Now, we stop at a lot of them when we're on the road trips, but we always end up coming back to this one. It is actually busier than I thought it was gonna be today. I mean, it's not extremely busy, but busy. But in about two days time, this place will be literally dead. There'll only be like maybe, you know, maybe 10 or 15 cars in that parking lot. And Dawn is on a mission for her favorite store. What's your favorite store? Vera Bradley, yes, we found it. That's all you talked about, it's like Vera Bradley, Vera Bradley. It's been about four or five months since I've been in here and I've been wanting to come back in here. I wonder if that's a raincoat, makes me wonder. It's a packable travel bag. Oh, okay. They got Christmas throws for $14.99 on sale. Well, that's pretty cool. There's a Donald Duck and a, and a Daffy Duck. And they got a whole club. Oh, they got Mickey Mouse. It, the passport holders. Oh, it's a pa is that a passport holder? Yeah, it's, a, it's a passport holder. How much do they want for it? $55? Passport holder. So it's 50% 50, 50 off, so it'd be twenty. So it'd be $25, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they even have a Darth Vader purse. <laughs> Is that a purse? I think so. Yeah. Mickey's inside. Oh, yeah, there's hidden Mickeys in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't expect to see this at Vera Bradley. You have 
Princess Leia there, and she says, I don't need saving. And she's got her, her blaster, and of course you have a Han Solo there. That's cool. I didn't notice this at first, but this is a Star Wars Vera Bradley design. It's got <laughs> Luke Skywalker on there, and Darth Vader, and it's crazy. So did you find anything at Vera Bradley? No, not today. <laughs> not today. You said you want to go online and look at something, right? I went online and looked at a couple things, but I want to do some more reading and reviews and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. So I guess I got something today. Dawn, you struck out, <laughs> but I don't know. Dawn, you're kind of picky. She's kind of picky yeah. though. Like she'll find things and she'll get them right away, but then it'll take you like weeks to find like your next big thing. And I said, let's go find something to eat because I am hungry. Yeah, so we're gonna have steak and shake for lunch today. But you notice the parking lot here is like is like empty. When is the last time you saw the steak and shake parking lot empty? Of course they have a Panda Express next door. We've been there also. You know, it gets dark so early now. It's like four o'clock. Technically it's dinner time now. We didn't have lunch or breakfast. And so yeah. We're, we're trying to fast a little bit now, you know, just, and then we'll have, we'll have a treat like this. This is kind of a treat, but uh, yeah, steak, steak and shake, steak burgers. I remember the first time I went to a steak and shake with my buddy Patrick and uh, I was like, yeah, not too bad. So a lot has changed here at steak and shake. Um, they have the fountain machine where you gotta do your own now. We're number 15, and you gotta, you gotta shake. shake, right? What is that? It's a chocolate shake. Chocolate shake. And then, of course, we gotta, I gotta drink here. And the last time we were here, um, you got waited on. It was like full service. Now it's uh, quick serve. You actually gotta go up to the, uh, the counter there and make your order and sit down, kind of like any fast food place. So I wonder when that changed. That, that it just dates how long we've been. That just dates how long since we've been here. Cause they used to, yeah, they used to have servers. Oh, that's crazy. Um, I kind of like it this way. I'm not really a big fan. I don't know. I guess maybe COVID changed a lot of things. COVID, yeah, COVID probably did. Dawn's gonna let me have a swig of her. Uh... I think it's supposed to be chocolate shake. Hmm. And just like that, here it is. So this is the Chili Mac, and then that's your garlic, garlic burger. burger. And that looks really good. You got a little it looks bit of like it's garlic on top. Yeah, you got garlic on top, and of like course. A sauce. So that's like a steak burger, and you got some fries. Yeah. You know? fries. And they are the shoestring, right? And this here is, of course, my fries. And here's my burger. Ooh, you got pickles. So I got some pickles. Ooh, they look good. Mm -hmm. And they got some onion on there. A little bit of mayo, it looks like. And uh, there's even a piece of bacon and uh, cheese and looks like two patties in there. You gonna get in that burger? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like their burgers here because their buns are so soft usually. And um, not looking good. It's got a lot of flavor. It even tastes the garlic in it. See the garlic on top of the bun? I'm putting the seasoning on my fries. I like that. Mm. And a little bit of ketchup. And a little bit of mustard. Look at that. The chili mac. Looks good. Super, super hot steaming. Yeah, looks like there's a little pool of goodness down there, doesn't it? Oh yeah, looking good. Dawn got the garlic burger, which was $8.99, and a chocolate shake, which came out to $15.62. I had the uh, double cheeseburger combo with the chili mac, and our total came out to $32.02. That's our little vlog for today. We started out the Harrisburg Covered Bridge. A lot of fun. It's a cool place, you know, it's a great place to get your photos taken. and just. 
it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Then we went over to Tanger, which eh, I scored pretty good. I got some new shirts, right? Uh, you didn't get anything, though. No. Uh, but you couldn't find nothing. But you were there like a week ago and you got a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then we went to Steak and Shake. <laughs> uh, you know what? I was shocked because last time we were there, I think they had booths, you know, booths mm -hmm. in the center. It's just and tables now. Yeah, it's just all tables. It's all open. Um, and there's no more, like, servers. And you walk up and order your food. It's kind of like a fast food, and then they bring it to your table. What did you think about it? Like, it was good. My garlic burger was really good. Yes. Two string fries or two string fries. Yeah. <laughs> fries it, fries. It was. Now, I know one thing with Steak and Shake, uh, they have coupons. And that's where you, you, know, you do your biggest damage here. Um, with those coupons, you can save a lot of money because thirty-two dollars for a couple burgers, and they're not real big burgers. And, you know, that's kind of pricey. Mm -hmm. So you, I would definitely search for those coupons and then head on your way here. But folks, that's going to do it for today, January the second. If you guys like this vlog, give, give it a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe because we got plenty of Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.